world. Uh, today I have something from this uh, dancing series I plan to do. I have some other videos also for Fancy Shawl you can have a look at. I put the links below and also to the actual dance. But what I want to talk now today is, or what I want to talk about is about what belongs to a jingle dress. To modern jingle dress that we are now having at Power Hours, you can look at descriptions. There are some dancers from actual Power Hours. But I want to talk a bit about what belongs to such an outfit. We have, first of all, some moccasins. Something on the feet would be good. Then, uh, depending on the tribe, it's, there's not just one thing, one rule, uh, rule book you can uh, look for. There are some things, some items that are more general, but uh, they are also a lot of tribal traditions and it's a good thing. When you want to start to dance as a Native American, then you better look for the people around you and the local powwows or uh, the powwows where you, your ancestors are coming from and the stories behind this because this, this is varying um, among even families. So it would be a good idea to look for the people and ask them what, how they feel and how they um, do their outfits. So it's not, not something general. It's, uh, for example, um, I have here some leggings for the feet that come uh, on top of the of the moccasins but they are tribal people who are not having who are not wearing especially on the eastern prairies that, that are not wearing uh, leggings it can be for the plains people leggings are a must-have but there are tribes who don't work with leggings depends on the tribe and on your family then what we then have on top is the dress and it tells, it's just the fabric dress with these uh, jingles on top. These are cones from made of uh, snuff, tobacco snuff uh, can lids. Uh, they are uh, simply cut out and rolled in the old times, but these are just pressed and you can buy the lids and you course also can buy the finished cones uh, for these dresses. So you don't have to do that anymore alone and they are also coming in various colors today uh, then we have also beds widely used are beds with contrast but without any pendants around this uh, just just a belt around um, it could also depends on the tribe the people are from it could also be a beaded one but uh, mostly these today these uh, contra beds are fashionable then we have um, a shoker with uh, a neck piece with just these pendants in front of that are sometimes more practical than a necklace which is just flying around. This is when, when the, the steps of a jingle dress dance are a little bit like hopping around and it would be not the best thing when you have just a, a necklace, but necklaces are also done. It's not something, never say never. It could also be that the necktie is worn, that's depending on the dancer. And then you have these here, these are for the hair ties. Uh, you just put them two on, on each side of your head, so on, on, the, on your braids. So today, and especially for old time jingle, uh, a lot of people are wearing otter belts. This is a fashion that really comes up lately, but was also done historically, but uh, it varies. It's also always a fashion thing, how outfits develop mm -hmm. over years. So then what we have here is um, a headband. Headbands were popular in the 1920s, but they nowadays they are also widely coming up again uh, and are widely used. And then you have a barrette. It could also be that somebody is just wearing the barrette and the, with a feather attached. How to attach the feather I have a video that I put a link below. So then we also have some matching uh, earrings. Then we have oops, also some um, today uh, some uh, jingle dancers are wearing cuffs but uh, historically 10 years um, ago it was very fashionable to have such uh, slaves for example like a um, 
an armband and then attached is a ring with a, with a beaded rosette. This was widely fashionable in, in the 90s and early 2000s. And then we have another item that's important. You could also wear, some dancers are also wearing a bag and then on one, on one hand and some are wearing a fan. It depends on if you do a modern jingle dance, then you need a fan to raise up during uh, the, the louder beats. And uh, if it's an old time dancer, it's just the bare hands. So fan can be, does not have to be, but can be. So, and as I said, it, there are many tribal traditions today that they are not all in common. That's a, a, a pattern that's used with variations but uh, to what what to to put on your regalia and to use is up to you and it's up to the person that's dancing and so better to ask the people what the, why they are doing this because it's varying from tribe to tribe and even from family family to family so um, maybe look at the other videos I did also the one for a fancy shawl dance and uh, maybe you learned something new today would be great and yeah see you later